What's going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris on the show today my friends. We are reviewing can number two of Old El Paso and this is the tortilla? Or did I say it, say it wrong again? I said it wrong again. It's chicken tortilla. <laughs> I said that like 30 times I swear. I'm not even gonna cut that out. Yes my friends this is Old El Paso and this is their chicken tortilla. Did I say it right that time? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember this chicken tortilla soup my friends I'm not editing none of that out because it's real here and I know Chris my mind's going bad I think <laughs> I got this at my local Walmart for like two dollars and forty cent and I've already reviewed one of these soups already I think they have four flavors on the market all together um, the one before this was the corn chowder you can go check that video out if you haven't already seen it I reviewed it and uh, just check it out I don't want to mess up the review go check it out and see what I thought about the corn uh, chowder but this right here today, like I said, is something a little different, and it is mild. It's got a little green pepper there on the side. I don't know if y'all see that little green pepper right there. How clear it was. Anyway, it says it's mild. It's not real spicy. So we'll see about that. And it says new. I think it's been out for a little while, but it does say new right there. I know Chris is not fooling y'all. It says new. My friend's new on the can. All right, we're going to throw it in the pot, and we're going to make the cooking process real quick. Then we had the bowl back here. Let's take a closer look at it. See if it looks like it does on the can. Because you know on the can they always make stuff look better. Just like TV commercials to make the hamburger look super big and delicious. And you get in there and it's just like this little smash patty. And you're like, doesn't look so delicious no more. So we'll see what this looks like when it's cooked and in the bowl. And then um, we'll back out like I always do. I'm going to let you have a close look. And then we'll give it a taste. And I'm going to give my honest opinion. To let you know if you need to go waste two dollars on this. Now, like I've said before in the other review. Like I said, I know some of you may not have seen it. I'm not a big soup eater, especially in the summertime, which is what we're moving into right now from out of spring, and it's warming up. It's warming up everywhere. Something about eating hot soup in the summertime, I'm just not a big fan of that for some reason. Same with coffee. So, but we're going to give this a try. I'm going to quit babbling. I already messed up enough at the beginning. Let's put it in the pot, but I'm keeping it real. Just warm this up and don't burn it. Scorch it. Please do not scorch it. <laughs> Only have one can of this, and we're going to serve it up and give it a tasty, tasty. Let's go do it. Now, just like the other can that I reviewed of the old El Paso, this right here has a pop top, so it makes it a lot easier. No can opener needed, so you know, you kind of carry this widget out and about. No can opener needed. So let's pop that cap up in this pot and get the heat going, my friend. Yeah, I'd say this is a lot more splattery. I would say that one right there could make a big splatter mess. Careful, I know, Chris. Hey, it smells wonderful. I'm going to tell you, this smells good right out the can. I might could just try it like that. No, we're not going to do that. But I'm seeing corn, I'm seeing beans, I'm seeing I'm seeing some chicken pieces in there. So let's get it all out of that chicken out of there. All two dollars and forty something cent. <laughs> okay, YT family, let's pour this up right now. Add some hot soup. You see all the goodness going in there? Come out of the pot really good. Got some tomatoes, green peppers, chicken, corn. We got a lot going on in that. Okay, YT family. We got it over here, it's good and hot. I'll give you a closer look. We got some chicken in here. They put a good bit of chicken in there. I mean, they didn't kill herself with it, but there's some chicken in there. You see the, the green peppers, the black beans, the corn. Uh, we got tomatoes in there. And of course the green, the green peppers are in there too. So yeah, they kind of loaded it up. They don't really skimp on the ingredients. They really loaded this up. So, so I'm really looking forward to giving it a try and seeing if it's tasty tasty. Let's back out and let's do this thing. Okay, YT family, we got it off the stove. It's looking super good. I gave you that close-up. It's got a good bit of chicken in it, tomatoes, black beans, corn, and there's green peppers. But it said it was going to be a mild sauce. It smells a little spicy, but hey, we ain't going to know till we get us a try and see if it's tasty, tasty, my friends. Let's give us a spoonful of this tastiness. I'm going to get some, some beans on there. I got some tomatoes. Got a hunk of chicken on there. Can y'all see that? Looking tasty. Smells wonderful. Okay, not really spicy at all. So if you're a person that don't like spice, you're gonna be just fine with this. I'm not getting no spice kick. Now, that corn chowder I reviewed that you may not have seen, I'm going to tell you, it said mild, but it had a little spice to it. Uh, not really getting much spice from this. I can actually taste the vegetables in this really good. Um, like I said, they didn't skimp on the chicken. The chicken's in there, it's piled up. I'm making a mess to clean up. <laughs> Now, one thing I do have a problem with this is I think because I'm a salt holic, I don't need to eat a lot of salt. A lot of people don't like a lot of sodium. Trust me, if you don't like salt, this is up your alley because this is not really salted. 
Yeah. To me, I would put some more black pepper and some regular salt in this. Because it's not really that salty to me. At least this can isn't to me. It doesn't taste real salty. Let me grab some salt real quick. Okay, let me dump a little bit of salt in here. I know some matter saying, brother, what are you doing? I like salt. <laughs> I like a lot of salt. And I love pepper. I'm probably gonna sneeze now because it's going everywhere. I kind of like spicy stuff. I mean, I don't like extremely hot, but I like a little spice kick. And something about something with old El Paso on it, I expect it to be a little hot. Now we've added some black pepper to this and some salt. Let's grab that tomato. There's a big hunk of tomato there. Okay, that's much better. So if you get this, if you're like me, like salt and pepper, please add some to it before you eat it. Or taste it first and then add some. Mm-hmm. So I know Chris, what do you think about this old El Paso chicken tortilla soup? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. It's got some nice flavors to it. It just needs a little bit more salt to it, in my opinion. You get it, add salt and after you try it. First try it first. And if you need some salt, add it. Once I added this extra salt and a little black pepper, it actually tastes really good. I think if you're a person that likes vegetable soup, because it kind of reminds me of it a little bit, all things different is it's got that little bit of Mexican flair going in there flavor-wise. And if it didn't have that, I would call this vegetable soup with chicken in it. But as far as the vegetables and for $2 and some change, they really, I mean, they got nice tomato hunks in this. Lots of black beans, corn. It's got a lot going on for it. And the chicken, yeah, it's got some pieces that ain't that big, but it's big enough. I mean, you got to have a whole yard chicken in here, do you? I know, Chris. It'd be nice. No. <laughs> I'm going to be like, he crazy. But yeah, I definitely would give it two thumbs up, my friends. Right there. Two thumbs up. Let's give it another taste. Oh yeah, I'm glad that free dryer turned off. That's what that uh, noise was in the background. It just got silent. It's always running when I do my reviews. But yeah, I'm kind of really enjoying this. I definitely would pick that up again. My friends, that's pretty much going to wrap this up. If you would, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment down below. And there ain't nothing else we can do. As always, my friends, y'all stay safe and keep tubing.